Mark McKinnon, it's interesting if you look at those polls about how people feel about their two economic plans. I'd be fascinated to know if people responding actually know what's in the plans at this point. Hopefully today we'll bring some, some clarity on that. Where is the middle on this? I mean, there's the one side, the Democratic base likes President Obama. They like perhaps blaming President Bush and Republicans in Congress. The other side for Mitt Romney says lower taxes help small business. Where do the voters in the middle stand on this? Well, first of all, the bad news for President Obama is obviously that 38% uh, number, but the good news is the Romney number is 35%. And you're right, people don't know what the plans are. Uh, no labels just came out of the field with a poll where we identified what we call problem solver voters. And these are people who choose candidates who are focused on solving problems rather than candidates who are most closely aligned with their party. And uh, it's really interesting because 54% of them consider themselves problem solving voters and these could be the voters that actually they really care about the plans they want to see what Obama's economic plan is they want to see what Romney's plan is for the future because they they literally want to solve the problems that are ahead of us they care more about action than, than party and politics so this could be a very important demographic in terms of who swings the election and right now among these voters the, the numbers are 51 49 for uh, uh, Romney over Obama. And 84% of the, the voters think it's important for a problem solver candidate to work with members of the opposing party. And 67% don't think they should be bound by pledges. So this is a really important group of voters that I think are going to pay a lot of attention to the actual plans that these, these candidates put out. And as we can see by the numbers right now, they don't really understand what those plans are and they want to hear what it's about. Well, so these, these problem solving voters are going to be important, I think.